the book with a reading. That's it. Put it in there. said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you, and I will lead back your captives from every place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you for it is full and lasting happiness to serve you with constancy, the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw that in the right hand of the one sitting on the throne there was a scroll that had writing on back and front and was sealed with seven seals. <coughs> then I saw a powerful angel who called with a loud voice, is there anyone worthy to open the scroll and break the seals of it? But there was no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth who was able to open the scroll and read it. I wept bitterly because there was nobody fit to open the scroll and read it. But one of the elders said to me, there is no need to cry. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has triumphed, and he will open the scroll and the seven seals of it. Then I saw, standing between the throne with its four animals and the circle of the elders, a lamb 
that seemed to have been sacrificed. It had seven horns, and it had seven eyes, which are the seven spirits God has sent over all the world. The Lamb came forward to take the scroll from the right hand of the one sitting on the throne. And when he took it, the four animals prostrated themselves before him, and with them the twenty-four elders, each one of them, was holding a harp and a golden bowl full of incense, made of the prayers of the saints. They sang a new hymn, You are worthy to take the scroll and break the seals of it, because you were sacrificed, and with your blood you bought men for God, of every race, language, people, and nation, and made them a line of kings and priests to serve our God and to rule the world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem and came in sight of the city, he shed tears over it and said, If you in your turn had only understood on this day the message of peace, but alas, it is hidden from your eyes. Yes, a time is coming when your enemies will raise fortifications all round you, when they will encircle you and hem you in on every side. They will dash you and the children inside your walls to the ground. They will leave not one stone standing on another within you. And all because you did not recognize your opportunity when God offered it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> this time of the year, when we're coming to the end of the liturgical year, the readings are what we call apocalyptic. And that fits in well with our present situation because a lot of people have felt that the situation in which we find ourselves now is rather apocalyptic, unusual. Strange things seem to be happening in our world. And of course, uh, in a situation such as this, with the collapse as, as in, the, in the Gospel, the collapse of the, the destruction of the Temple in Jerusalem, which was the most traumatic thing for Jews, uh, there is a search for security. When we're in a situation which is not easy, a situation that perhaps we have ever been in, with a, a pandemic such as we have, we need security. And actually our only security can be God. There is nothing else that can be a security for us. We know that our Lord says that all things will pass away, everything will pass away, but his words will never pass away. And so God is the security for all of us in all our difficulties. So I hope that those of you who are listening to this Mass will uh, take to heart what the Gospel says. This is an opportunity 
for us, an opportunity to deepen our faith in God, who alone is our security. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice 
may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Berinus, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence 
we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Bernard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
I say to you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive, and it shall be given to you, says the Lord. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. We say the De Profundis on page 38 of the simple prayer book. The prayer for the faithful departed, for those on our parish dead list for whom this Mass has been offered, for our departed relatives, benefactors and friends, for all who lie asleep in our cemetery awaiting the resurrection, and for the forgotten dead. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. O oh, let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, and for this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord, I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than the watchman for daybreak. Let the watchman count on daybreak, and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your servants departed the remission of all their sins, that through our pious supplication they may obtain that pardon which they have always desired, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Our Lady of Dorchester, pray for us. Saint Berinus, pray for us. Of course.